Hello YouTube! Welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I'm kicking all the doors closed on my desk down here. So happy Thanksgiving everybody. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I am very, very excited. <coughs> I am happy, 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 happy. So I am doing a mail call. I have been in my room since six o'clock this morning. Have I really accomplished anything? Not a chance. <laughs> I have been playing. I've been having such a good time. And my paper pumpkin arrived. I really should be working on that, shouldn't I? But no, 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 no. So I want to share with you what I got in the mail. Um, so let me show you some of my cards. My girlfriend, Jackie, I love her so much. She makes what she calls semi-homemade cards. And I'm going to open up this card and you're going to see why. She sticks stickers in them. I absolutely love that she does this. Sometimes she covers the whole inside with stickers. I absolutely love these. These cards were in my um, living room. I had to actually physically go get them to bring them in here. So anyways, that was my Thanksgiving card. I got this beautiful Christmas card from Julie. Thank you very much. I know it is not a handmade card, but it's still beautiful. My Christmas cards, yes, are even out because I've decorated for Christmas. Christmas and Thanksgiving cards are mixed together. Um, this is beautiful. Now, I did not have this card base. This is really cool, this embossing on it. Um, absolutely love it. This is from Paper Pumpkin here. This pumpkin in the leaves absolutely beautiful with love and gratitude love the inside here with the stamp really beautiful so thank you very much this is from miss kathy klein so let me move this this one oh <clears throat> the sheltering tree love how she stamped layers and layers of color on this tree in the little rake it, but the cutest part is look at these little bitty squirrels so so cute and we have lots of squirrels the dogs absolutely flip out and but inside this is from rosalie and look at the teapots oh so this these are gonna go into my little tin here of usable bits so my little tin look at the teapot here's a cup here's a cup here's a cup here's a cup the other one is in the envelope that's right so oh so, so cute. And it's Glimmer Pippa to play with. I cannot wait. So, let's put those down here. I don't want the handles or the little noses to get. Those are going back in my living room. Move that over there. And then this is a beautiful Z fold. You ready? Miss Cynthia Pitts. I loved this stamp set. I did have it. Um, I'm going to forget the name of it. It was my favorite, favorite uh, fall leaf uh, card. I loved it. Absolutely thought it was gorgeous. Loved the paper. So thank you guys very, very much. But that's not it, guys. Okay. Miss Phyllis. <laughs> Miss Phyllis sent me this wonderful package here, right? And it arrived yesterday. I didn't get home till late last night because uh, my grandson's in wrestling now. Football's over. Wrestling's, this is a private wrestling club and it's only two nights a week, which is great. Um, I, we're going to skip tonight because I, I need to clean for tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> but he needs wrestling shoes. He's been practicing without any shoes and my husband and I we don't go over the Thomas narrow bridge unless I have a doctor's appointment and which I did yesterday <coughs> excuse me and um we drove all over the place any place that had a wrestling shoe we went we tried it on and the kid is picky 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 like his mama nothing he wasn't happy with any of them they're too tight he has a super wide foot he's flat-footed the eyelets of the shoes he didn't like that he could feel the eyelets and so we finally said enough we're done we're done he was like let his mother figure this out because i'm done and by then i was tired too of it so i was like i told my text my daughter i said tag you're it we're out <laughs> so anyways miss phyllis sent me a whole bunch of dies so 
what I want to show you here is my Aunt Carol gave me these. Comes like this. It comes in these. She got these, I think, from Timu, right? Come in these little envelopes. She shares with me. You guys know this. So you can see that this is really flimsy. It's a little magnetic sheet. And um, I already have tear tape. I'm going to show you how I firmed this up really quick. So this is from, this is the chipboard from a paper pumpkin. I'm going to show this one more time with uh, the new paper pumpkin kit because I saved one to do with that. So I'm going to pull this off, pull my tear tape off. Now I will tell you, I have a manila envelope with uh, lots of chipboard in it <clears throat> that I keep. So I'm just getting this. It's okay if it's not perfect. So this one's not even going to be perfect. So I get this down there. Now you can use a guillotine. You can see here it's not perfect and I don't care. I, I don't know why I don't care for this. It just doesn't bug me. Now I'm going to tell you that when I cut these strips off here, I save these because sometimes I piece these pieces together when I do this. If I need a stiffer backing, but what this allows when you do have a flimsy magnetic sheet, and it doesn't have to be the ones from Timu, any magnetic sheet. Do you see the difference now? Let me get another one. Ah, the one I was going to eat, I'm going to do in paper pumpkin. Okay. This is it. Do you see how flimsy that is? It's like a sheet of paper. Now, it doesn't have that wobble. It's nice and firm, thick. Okay. Can't do that with this one. So this is one I'm going to do on my paper pumpkin video. These pieces are going to go into my envelope. I'm not going to waste those because I can piece them together. So what do I do next? Well, you're going to see. I have a piece of printer paper that is five by seven. And that's one of the dies she sent me. I just cut out with some thin DSP paper so I can see what it is. I'm going to take that white piece of paper. Oops, I didn't get enough glue on there. I will now. So there it is. So this shows me what the die is. And I've spent, uh, what is it? It's noon and I've been out here since six o'clock this morning. This is what I've been doing, y'all. So there you have. So here's my magnetic sheet. Here is the season's greeting die. It's really a big one. So there it is. I'm going to stick it back in the envelope. Oh, I like this facing this way. I probably will, next time my aunt orders, order more of these for other dies that I have. I'm not going to replace my Stamping Up dies in their envelopes. I like them in their envelopes. These are very thin. So my Stamping Up stuff is going to stay, but I really like these for other things. So see how I have my die here? I can see it on this side. I, it tells me what it is. But then I went and I cut a whole bunch of Seasons Greetings. This is what took me so long today because wait till you see all the dies. So I have Seasons Greetings, Seasons Greetings, Seasons Greetings, Seasons Greetings, and Seasons Greetings. I am prepared. Can you believe this? Yeah, I did a lot of stuff today. So all of these now, I'm going to put these in. I really want it in the front, but we're going to stick it in the back today because... Otherwise, I don't know if it's all going to go in there. Anyways, maybe I did too many. This one is sticking out. So, stick it in there. This one's going to go in the front. There we go. You can stick some of your ready die cuts in there. And I'm also going to do a little label maker because I already wrote on one of them given to me by Phyllis and I want to keep that like that so there's one that's the season's greetings now look at this one ah they're little hangers so here you can see those the hangers I die cut them so I can have some on hand and then the picture of what they were this one didn't have a picture but they're little gnome pieces so I made a couple of little gnomes did a couple of the little pieces 
really cute. Same thing. They're on that magnetic sheet. All right. Oh, guys. <laughs> Wait till you see this one. These are three tree dies. This is a little coffee cup, peppermint cups. So here's the three trees. This I didn't do the coffee mugs because I, I was doing so many other things. But here, in my paper pumpkin supplies, I did a whole bunch of trees. Yes, I did. Those are ready to go for when I start paper pumpkin videos. Absolutely love it. Those are going to be one of my go-to dies. Now, this one, I didn't do any of these yet, but these I'm going to be, I am going to be scrapbooking with these dudes. I love it. And I love Santa and the reindeer. This guy's going to have a red nose. Of course, he's going to be Rudolph. So I, I'm just having way too much fun, but it, it was quite time consuming to cut them out. This one, I did three. So it had this Christmas bulb with the truck, the tree, the Merry Christmas I think I've done 10 of these. I've cut out 10 of that one. This is um, can be Valentine's Day which or Christmas. I think I'm going to mix this up, up with the uh, Be Mine Sweet or Cute Be, whatever that Be Sweet is. Be My Valentine. <coughs> so once again, if I open this up, here's all. <laughs> you can see what I was doing for hours upon hours. Let me get them out of the way so you can see. Okay, so here's the North Pole. Here's the little cups, right? These need to go into my uh, paper pumpkin stuff anyways, because I want to use these. There's the ornament. It's much larger than what it looks like. And I just ran it through the die cut a couple of times in different colored paper to get the tree in that little bit. You could do the star. There's so much you can do. But these little guys, oh my gosh, you have no idea. I, you guys know I love Christmas. But this little North Pole airmail, hello. Favorite thing. I know I've done 10 of these. Let's keep those out. Those are going to be with the paper pumpkin stuff. I would like to keep at least one or two in this little package. I mean, I could have sat here all day long. I had such a mess from playing with this. Now, Phyllis, how did you know I like a hello? <laughs> so, let's see, they're on this side. This one says hugs, paper hugs, and hello. It has the silhouette and the hello. And I've gone ahead and I've done several in here. I have, let's see if I can get them out. I don't want to get them all out. Really nice big hugs. This one is paper hugs apps this is why I wanted to sit here and do this so let's see so here's the white hello and I have the black silhouette that the you know you don't have oh it's already done <laughs> I'm like you don't have to do white and black it's just I know that those I can get in here and black goes with basically anything and so does white so really just in the size of these guys. Wow. I feel like I just got Christmas morning today. It, it was that exciting. So, and one of them guys made me tear up. I kind of cried and, um, oh, it's coming up last. So this one, these are tags, 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 and more tags. Look at these. And you've got to wait till you see them. I didn't do them all, but I am going to bring it out because I want to show you how I put them. This is real flimsy DSP paper. It's not stamping up. It's just some stuff I keep over there. So I alternated the colors. See, I started with one color and then I went to a different color so I can see the different sizes. You can see dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. And I did that on both of them. And then I got started with some that I can use. So this is this large one. This is the largest one of that design. Okay. And then the next largest one. And then the next largest one. And I can work from there. But just because I was getting, I was doing so much. 
but absolutely love them. See, gifted from Phyllis. And I'm going to get out when I can get to it. My label maker is behind a whole bunch of stuff. Like I've told you guys before, my room becomes a storage facility for the holidays. It's already got stuff under blankets for you know what. So this one, I couldn't believe that that she uh, even had a die or found this die that said this because this was so touching for me. It, it means so much. So here's pieces that I've started. I will be working on this one because I am going to do for me. I might be doing it during <coughs> Christmas. So here's it. This is really cool. I have to show you this. So it has a back, a silhouette piece, and it has it on all three of them. So the silhouette, and I've done them in different ones. And this is just to show me the pieces, right? And it says, enjoy the little things. Of course, hello, <laughs> can you not? The silhouette, I didn't do the other ones. And it says, live in the moment, which guys, that is my moment. That is my moment. My everything. You live in the moment for today. Enjoy this moment of your life. You'll never have this moment again. Um, and I didn't, I, I miss that when I was younger. I really, really did. I was so caught up in just trying to, you know, when you're young and you're struggling with your kids, it was like you were in survival mode, just trying to make it, you know, to the next payday and just trying to survive. And, and I don't look at things that way anymore. Cancer will make you rethink how you live. And people might think I'm crazy, but I'm grateful for that because it really changed my point of view. And I... I can honestly say I have a better point of view towards life and what is important. And what is important each and every day for me is that very moment. Even with Hank being as difficult as he was yesterday, my husband and I were there for that moment. I mean, we can laugh about it. I can journal about it, uh, share it, shake my head about it. But I was there for that moment. And um, yes, it was difficult. But you know what? I still enjoyed it. I still had enjoyment in that moment. I will tell you, if I was in my 20s, I would have been frustrated. I would have been upset. And I would have let it get to me and get me all worked up. But not anymore. It's not worth that. Um you know, my husband did. He was like, I am done. And well, I, we exhausted. There was no place else to look for wrestling shoes. <laughs> we exhausted every place we could. There was no other place. It's like online then. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> so anyways, that is my mail call. I've got this wonderful stack of dies that I am going to be incorporating into so much scrapbooking. Um, card making. Oh, I just cannot wait to play. Beautiful cards to showcase tomorrow and share for Thanksgiving. And then uh, the paper pumpkin has arrived. That's my next goal right now is to, I already have ideas roaming through my brain. It's just a matter of organizing some of them and to get going. So thanks for watching everybody. Phyllis, thank you very much. Everyone, thank you for your wonderful cards for thinking of me. I really appreciate it. I love sending cards. I love receiving cards. Just because I send you a card, you don't have to send me back one. Um, I really do love sending them. My husband thinks <laughs> sometimes he's like, really, honey? I'm like, you know it. I mean, what's the point of making them if you don't send them and send the joy um, uh, of what I do? And I get so much joy and enjoyment from sharing um, my projects with everybody. Um, I can't, I, I, I struggle to express that to you guys because without 
your comments and your feedback, I would be missing this. And I am so, so, so grateful. So thank you. That is going to be the biggest thing that when I tell my, when we go around the table tomorrow and express what we are so grateful for this year. I'm not just grateful for my family and for the doctors because I got a, I got a great checkup for my doctor. He still cannot say that I am good to go from the cancer because I have another year of checkups uh, just because of the type of cancer it is. But um, I'm closer because nothing was detected yesterday. Um, so good to go. He's like, I'll see you again soon. I'm like, okay, well, we got this covered. Um, but this YouTube, this YouTube channel, I'm grateful. And the reason why I'm grateful is for each and every one of you out there who watches my channel. Um, you don't even have to comment, but I love your comments. <laughs> Make me keep coming back and doing more. So thank you. Uh, keep the comments coming. If you have the time, um, I, I read each and every one of them and I respond. So I am very, very grateful. So thank you guys very much. Have a great Thanksgiving. And when I get off, I'm going to start paper pumpkin. So thanks for watching everybody. Bye-bye for now.